hello viewers welcome back to my channel it's your favorite nurse and today i have come with another exciting topic we are talking about how to calculate both safe an unsafe period of a menstrual cycle so if you're trying to conceive or you do not want to get pregnant this topic is going to sincerely benefit you please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and those that are already subscribed thank you all so much for sticking around so let's go straight into the topic for today All right, viewers, welcome back to my channel. So today we are calculating safe and unsafe days of our menstrual cycle. And we are going to be using a regular menstrual cycle, which is the 28 days cycle. So if you have your calendar close by, kindly pick it up and let's go through this topic together. I'm using this method because calendars are readily available everywhere some of us have it on our phones and in our homes so this is going to be very easy for us to actually calculate so just stay with me let's go through this now i have my calendar already drawn out on the board okay and i am going to be using my menstrual circle all right so this is a 31 day calendar and since we are going to be using a 28 day circle um I have this drawn out okay so for those who have 28 days circle I want you to understand that ovulation occurs in the middle of your circle which is the 14th day of your circle so if you divide your 28 days into two the midpoint is 14th and that is your ovulation day that is the peak of your ovulation the day the egg is supposedly released from the ovary it does not mean that that is the only day that ovulation can occur but that is the peak of your ovulation ovulation in itself is a process okay so there are fertile days that lead up to the ovulation so we are going to go straight into how to calculate this so now I'm using myself as an example. So let's assume that my menses started on the second day of this month. All right, so this second day automatically becomes the first day of my menstrual cycle. Your menses may start on the 9th, it may start on the 18th, it may start on the 19th. The day your menses starts is the first day of your menstrual cycle. So let's understand that perfectly. So uh, for me, my menses started on the second day of this month okay so this is the second day of this month that's when my menses started so this is the first day of my menstrual cycle as you can see drawn on the body is the first day of my menstrual cycle so this is the second the third the fourth the fifth the sixth the seventh the eighth the ninth the tenth the eleventh the twelfth the thirteenth and the fourteenth of my circle as you can see it is written here ovulation so this is the day that ovulation happens okay the 14th of my circle and then we have 15th 16th 17th 18th 19th 20th 21st 22nd 23rd 25th 25th 26th 27th and 28th so if my menses started on the second of this month my next menses is supposed to start on the 20 on the 29th of this month which is the 28th day of my circle okay so for ovulation like i said ovulation occur in the middle of the circle okay so for the 14th day of my circle here is my fertile the, my most fertile day, my most fertile day, the ovulation day, the day the egg is released from the ovary. Okay, so, and we need to understand that the sperm, when released, can live up to five days in the woman's body. Okay, so, five days before this ovulation, that's five days before the 14th, and five days after the 14th are my fertile days. Okay, let's come backward. So this is the 14th day of my circle. All right, this is the 13th one, 12th, 2, 11th, 3, 10th, 4, 9th, 5. So these are the five days before 
my ovulation day, which is the 14th. So these five days are my fertile days. So if you are trying to conceive, then you start from the ninth of your circle and you're sure that yes, you will conceive. You start on the ninth. And also from the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th are also my fat. Like I said, five days before the ovulation day and five days after the ovulation day are our fertile period. So if you're trying to conceive, then you begin to try from the ninth of your circle. So your fertile days, your fertile days is from the ninth to the 19th of your circle, which is a total of 10 days. So the 9th to the 19th is your fertile days. So if you have, if you had unprotected sex with your partner in any of these days, from the 9th to the 19th, then you have a probability of conceiving within these days. The 14th is the peak of the ovulation, but these days are fertile days and anything can happen within these days. Remember that I said the sperm can actually stay in the woman's body for up to five days. Okay, so when if you had sex on the ninth day, there's a possibility that you can still conceive. And if you had sex on the on the 15th day, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th, there is also a possibility that you can conceive. So for those who are trying to conceive, especially for those in long distance relationship that they, they get to visit each other once in a while, you can actually track these days and trust me something might happen so the 9th to the 19th is uh, our fertile days so for those who do not want to conceive you know those who are trying to prevent pregnancy at the moment if you don't want to conceive at the moment then the first day of your circle to the eighth day of your circle and then the 20th day of your circle to the 28th day of your circle are your safe period so if you do not want to conceive you are free to have unprotected sex from the first day of your circle to the eighth day anything after that then anything can happen. So the first day of your circle to the eighth day of your circle, and then the 20th day of your circle to the 28th day of your circle are your safe period if you do not want to conceive. So I hope you understand. It is actually not very difficult. If you do not understand, you can go over the video again, get your calendar, and then try to get to understand this so the first day of your menstrual circle can be any day even if it's 18th of that month that is the first day of your menstrual circle and that is the day you begin to calculate your ovulation and then you calculate from that day 14 days from that day is the peak of your ovulation but the ninth to the 19th of that circle are your fertile days and then the first day to the eighth day are your safe days and then 20th to 28th are also your safe days i hope you understand this if you do not understand or there's if there's something that you are concerned about or you're confused about kindly drop it in the comment section and i will respond and if there's anything that you want me to clarify or any topic you want me to talk about you can as well drop it in the comment section if you are not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button right now and turn on notification and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also to share this video thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next bye